Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Madam DeVoe. Thank you so much for tuning in and for allowing me to be a part of your unique and wondrous experience today. For your first crowner, you have healing family issues. Clarified by the Two of Wands and Strength. So I pick up an energy of careful planning. You're analyzing something this month, Aquarius. Maybe a situation involving a family member or a friend or somebody who you live with. I see you having strength in a situation where there's a lot of pain. There's been a lot of pain. Maybe there's even been third party situations. Some of you were possibly dealing with a Leo or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who was giving to someone else, was giving to two people. Somebody gives their time, attention, energy to two entities. So maybe it was this relationship in their job or maybe it was school or something like that. Or maybe it was even another person. But I sense a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety right now in your auric field. And for some of you, this is creating issues within your home, within your family. Maybe there's some anxiety within the home. Like some of, somebody has anxiety, so they're planning for something. Like someone may be planning for an emergency. I heard an ambulance. Somebody's having like an anxiety about an emergency situation and you may be planning for this emergency. But in the heart of your reading you have make the effort. Clarified by the Nine of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So I think some of you are making the effort to give to someone in your life this month. Making the effort to show someone that you love them. You're, you're being very generous with your love in the month of March is what I'm seeing. But the advice here is to not overgive to the point where you have none left for yourself. It's very important to always fill your own cup before you go out and fill someone else's. So some of you may be giving a lot to others in your life and it's very important to come back into yourself and to give to yourself. Basically what I'm trying to say is it's okay to be selfish sometimes. You have to be selfish in order to truly be selfless. Okay. So, you have this seven of wands here with the two of wands. I pick up an energy of on the defense. You could be dealing with a very defensive fire sign. You could be feeling like you're blocking someone off or somebody's blocking you out, shutting you out. Like somebody's not opening up about their own fears, anxieties, whatever's going on in their life. Somebody's not talking about it in the month of March. And because of this, this is causing family issues or just issues in maybe a home situation or someone who you see as family. It doesn't have to be blood related because somebody who is a relative and someone who is family, they both mean very different things. You can have a, re a blood relative and they not be family. And you can have somebody who is not blood related to you and they're very much family. So when I say family issues, I mean just people who you view as family. Doesn't have to be actual relatives. But some of you are dealing with a strong Leo placement. So this could be you or this could be the person that you're dealing with. But I sense somebody rushing very quickly into something that they've been planning for a while. So maybe, for some of you, you possibly had someone blocked is what I'm seeing. Like you had somebody blocked or, you know, you cut off communication. 
and maybe communication comes back around somebody plans to unblock someone or communicate with them and once communication comes in it comes in very quick that's what I see very fast but you have this hanged one with the nine of swords so I sense Aquarius that you feel very stuck right now in a situation you feel like you're not moving forward and this can be in any situation in life, but particularly this is a relationship reading, so I feel like you feel stuck in your relationships. Maybe your relationship makes you feel stuck. But I feel like a lot of you are very focused on the negative in your relationship. You're very focused on the bad. Or vice versa, this could be somebody that you're dealing with, especially if you're dealing with Pisces or another Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So I think that's why make the effort is here in the heart of your reading because it's telling you or this person to make the effort to shift your perspective because it's a choice to think negative. You know what I mean? There's an angry person in your awareness right now. Somebody's angry. You could be dealing with a very um, angry fire sign. Somebody who's very quick to anger. They very, they're very impulsive. But I see someone needing to look at something from a different perspective in order to move forward and it requires effort. Somebody needs to put a little more effort into this situation. Because maybe somebody's not putting effort into this situation. Somebody's very stagnant. I feel like some of you are very much paying attention to the red flags in a situation. You're opening your mind's eye and you're seeing something for the truth of the situation. But you have the Six of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles here. So some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in the month of March. Maybe some of you have a couple of options. Maybe one of those options is a Taurus, or a Capricorn, or a Virgo. And this person may be somebody who owns a business. That's what I see. You may be dealing with somebody who owns a business, or is like business savvy. Or maybe you're making business relationships in the month of March. Maybe you're going to be meeting a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who could be like a boss, like a new boss, or something like that. But I see that this individual, if you're dealing with an earth sign, this person's very giving, they're very generous. This could also be you if you have these placements in your chart somewhere. I see somebody who gives to someone who has lesser. So somebody's established some sort of foundation for themselves. And because of that, they use that platform, that foundation to give to others because they've once been in that same situation. So very, very generous energy that you're dealing with here. I pick up like the provider. Somebody provides for someone else. Stay optimistic about your love life and give your relationship a chance. So I feel like you are going to be giving someone a chance in the month of March. I picked up because I had shuffled some cards for you guys, but I wasn't really feeling the energy, so I like reshuffled. Um, and one of the things that I did pick up in your other spread was somebody giving someone multiple chances. So maybe you're giving a situation multiple chances and maybe you're gonna be giving it one more chance 
in the month of March. But I see a lot of optimism. You could be dealing with Sagittarius. Um, somebody's very optimistic about this, very optimistic about this situation. Like I said, somebody's very generous too. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, guys. I'm telling you, somebody's very much stuck in a negative pattern of thinking and it creates issues. Because what happens, I think this is, so if you're dealing with a fire sign, this is a fire sign who does this. Their negative thinking creates blockages within them. Maybe it causes them to shut you out um, because they're planning for the worst. Like somebody's expecting the worst. So they're like, well, in order to protect myself from the worst, I'm gonna shut this person out. And I think that creates anxiety within you because you feel stuck, you feel shut out. And maybe you don't know what to do. You know what I mean? Um, I really think some of you should meditate on this situation. Like I said, open your higher mind. The Hang One is a very spiritual card. So some of you need to get in touch with that spiritual part of yourself in terms of this situation. But continue to have optimism. Somebody needs to be optimistic about this situation because there's a lot of strength. I do feel like if you are in a relationship, if you're in a connection with someone, um, I do see this surviving this possible rough time because of the Nine of Swords. Maybe it's a dark period. Maybe you've been in a dark period with your partner for maybe the past year. Maybe the past year has been very hard on you and your partner or the person that you're dealing with. But continue to have optimism. Plan for the best. And don't allow, somebody needs to not allow their insecurities to affect this situation, whether this is you or whether this is the person that you're dealing with. Somebody's insecurities are very much creating tension in this relationship. But should you have the strength to understand the hanged one, this situation or this person, you will heal this issue. You will heal this part of the relationship, this point in time. But you have to allow somebody to grow. Somebody really needs to grow here. If you're dealing with an earth sign, this person really needs to grow and expand. But the biggest thing I'm seeing is to stay optimistic and use your higher mind and to think positive. That's a big thing that I'm seeing. Somebody needs to think positive about this situation because they are in a very negative headspace. Um, don't be hung up on... Don't be hung up on the worst. That's kind of like the advice that I'm seeing. Don't plan for the worst. If this is you, this could totally be, you know, the person that you're dealing with. But for some of you, this is you. Because I have nine of swords. Unless you're dealing with another air sign. Don't be hung up on the worst. You, there's blockages that are keeping you stuck. If you feel stuck, if this is you that feels stuck, you have blockages within you that you need to kind of work through. So some of you may do energy work and these, these blockages are causing anxiety. They're the ones that are causing fear within you because it's all related, right? It's all connected. So if you work through these blockages and you heal yourself, you will in turn heal this relationship because everything is a reflection. So if you're experiencing blockages in your own connections, um, you're probably also experiencing them within yourself. And maybe your partner is too, you know? So I just sense that somebody needs to work through their blockages here. Somebody also needs to make a decision already. Like there's a decision that's long overdue. Somebody needs to make a decision here and stop, um, they need to stop waiting around. That's what I see and just move forward. But that is what I see here, Aquarius. 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. If you'd like to book a personal reading, let me know. All of my information is in the description box below. And check out my vlogs, check out my other videos, guys. They're all on my channel. I've just recently updated and kind of like rearranged and organized my channel, so you can check that out at your leisure. And I will see you later. Have a beautiful rest of your month, Aquarius. Bye-bye.